So wherever you are, relax, sit back and let the sounds of Africa warm your heart, energize your spirit. We have to wake up, we have to connect with our instinct, we have to connect with our intuition, we have to connect with our power and powers of empathy and compassion. And how do we do that? We do that first sitting quietly and feeling, feeling our spirit. And then the next thing is listening to our spirit and then watching the natural world around us and seeing how does the natural world respond to us? How do the wild ones respond to us? How do the birds respond to us? How do the leopard, how do the leopards respond to us? The elephants, all the animals, and then watching them and, and learning from them. So this is, these are the teachings, the teachings of connecting to our seven senses. We work with a leopard because the leopard represents the nobility of spirit. The leopard represents our connection to the, to the spirit world. And a lot of traditional healers in Southern Africa work with the leopard because of that nobility of spirit and how the leopard seems to navigate the twilight worlds and the shadow worlds and has and, and, and is a, a wonderful example of an animal that is completely connected to its intuition and its instincts. I'd like to do a, a, just a guided meditation, just a short guided meditation, where I'm guiding you to connect more with your leopard sense, with the intuition inside of you. So closing your eyes, feeling your breath, and just connecting to the spirit inside of you. Taking a deep breath in and just connecting to the spirit inside of you. Breathing in, breathing out. listening to your heartbeat. Feeling the steadiness of your spirit. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out, feeling the wind of your spirit, breathing into it, being steady. If you see the 
the image of the leopard behind me, look at its eyes. What we need to do is develop that wildness in our eyes. When your eyes have that wildness like the leopard, then you know you're on the right track. And that wildness is about looking into nature, not with a, a desire to take from nature, but with a desire to, to give of oneself and to connect to the bones and blood inside of us. We, when we wake up and we have a dream, the next thing is to sniff the air, <laughs> feel your spine, listen to the electrical field around your body, and often that will give you a sense of whether you've had a, a powerful dream and how you should respond to the dream. This drum is called the Isikubo, which is my Sangoma drum. What I love about it is that when we play it in the community, often there's just one drum being played. Sometimes there's more. It has this wonderful ability to just join all the hearts of all the people. All the hearts of the people in the community are joined with this drum. And then our feet are joined because we are dancing in rhythm together. Our hands are joined because we are clapping. Our voices are joined because we are singing together. And as we do that in rhythm, it creates this incredible resonance and vibration of togetherness. Let me play my drum a little bit more for you. And another instrument I have here is the, the amakata, these rattles. And these rattles are also very, very helpful to wake our spirits up. So here we go. Hey, 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 Breathe into your spirit, feel the wildness inside of you surface. Allow the energy of Africa and these teachings to inspire you, to wake you up. Here we go, here we go. Hey, 
We say, which means open the road, great spirit, open the road, ancestors, help us to connect with you, help us to connect with our wildness, help us connect to nature, help us to connect to the spirit inside of us, where there's no you and me, there's just us all together in this natural world, helping one another. Feeling the wind inside of you. Feeling the breath of life. And knowing that all life is connected. The breath that's moving through you is also moving through the wild ones around us. And there is our responsibility. How can we connect to our seventh sense of manifestation in order that our life force can benefit other beings. So feeling your breath, feeling that electricity around you, feeling your pain and your shadows and accepting, accepting the frailty and vulnerability of your humanity loving yourself, being kind to yourself. So we'll just hold this moment. So uh, I thank you for joining me. I thank you all for joining me. And I welcome you on my six week course starting tomorrow with the College of Psychic Studies and you can register on my course via my website johnlockley.com or via the chat you'll see the links and uh, it's going to be a wonderful opportunity for us all to sit in community for six weeks isn't that wonderful we're going to meet for two hours every week every Wednesday and we're going to meditate and discuss dreams and work with our ancestors and focus on the wilderness. What a wonderful thing to do in community and I welcome you to join me and I look forward to meeting you and chatting with you. So thank you for listening to me and being with me today and I, I wish you a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you again. Ingwe, oh, Ingwe, man, hey,